What's going on guys? My name is Tyler and in this video we're going over the fact that Citadel has still not filed their 13F filing. We're going to be talking about that and what I do expect for this filing if they have continued to short the stock, if they have actually bought into a even larger longer term position because as we do know they have way more shorts in AMC but they also have some long positions. So we're going to go over that. By the end of the day if they don't have this 13F filing out then that will be somewhat confirmation that they are hiding something just because they're at the focal point of this AMC short squeeze and the fraud manipulation and corruption that is going on with the stock if there's anything bombshell in that filing it will be all eyes on citadel and that is the last thing that they do want so we're going to go over that as well as give you guys an overall update we're going to talk about the technicals a little bit go over the ortex data stock go tracker data because we are experiencing a bit of a gamma squeeze and i do ultimately think we could go to about 40 dollars by the end of the week we are also going to just go over what is happening today in this double-edged sword effect so give you guys the whole rundown what you need to know keep in mind i'm not a financial advisor not a financial planner or your dad so ultimately come to your own conclusions and do your own research but with that being said drop the like on the video if you want to see amc stock continue on this gamma squeeze to help push this video out to as many apes as possible comment down below subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell now when it comes down to the technical analysis we did come down a little bit now we are continuing to come back up we went down to about five percent positive for the day now at about seven percent yet again at $35.77 at the time of this recording volume is pretty nice relative it is only a 1 23 p.m when i'm filming this video the volume is almost 95 million so we're definitely going to have a higher volume day due to a lot of this gamma squeeze activity and a lot of hedging done by the market makers but like i did point out in the last video we really have to break out above this resistance level at this 50 day moving average which is $35.84 we are at $35.75 cents as we speak so we are right at that level if we can get a strong break above this and actually close above the 50-day move average that will be a clear sign into this rally and continued gamma squeeze effect as even more people continue to pile into calls as far as potential downside, I don't see that really being the case, at least throughout the rest of this week. Yes, we can have down days, but I think the overall trend is going to be bullish. But that is only my opinion. But that's really all you guys need to know about the technicals. This 50-day moving average is my focal point as of right now. We have to break out above that before we talk about a potential rally above that. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Let's move to the Ortex data. We have short, uh, uh, current short interest percentage of free flow at 18.89%. So not too much has actually changed there. Keep in mind these numbers may or may not be correct. They might be a little high or a little low at any given time. But if they are accurate, that is a very high short interest relative to the attention of AMC. As many people that are waiting for this, everybody knows the AMC and the short squeeze prospects that are going on. So the fact we're close to 20% short interest is a huge deal in my opinion current shares that are sold short of 96.58 million relatively speaking about two days worth of volume if all shorts wanted to cover at the same time so you guys could imagine what would happen to the stock if all of these shorts were forced to cover or something along those lines you would see a huge price action a lot of people jumping into this as a trade FOMO buyers as well as day traders and hedge funds and institutions continue to buy the stock which we will talk about when it comes down to the fintel data now, the share utilization is at 92.53%, which is a good thing in my opinion. I don't want the share utilization to go up. But contrary to popular belief, when the share utilization comes down, that means there's more available shares to be sold short. And that is what you guys want to see. You want to see the share utilization coming down, so more shares available to be sold short. And you want to see the free flow on loan going up, meaning there's more shares held in uh, hedge funds and institutions brokerage accounts that they can sell short if they want to and you want to see the short interest going up which it has been doing so all of the ducks are lining up in a perfect row and we could see the short interest in my opinion throughout the rest of this week and next week go to about 21 to 22 percent because that is where the free flow on loan currently sits at 22.02 percent so if all the shares held in people's brokerage accounts that were out on loan were actually sold short our short interest would be 22 percent which once you get over 20 percent you you're going to have a lot of people talking about the short interest of AMC yet again. Even, even news outlets like CNBC, that'll bring a lot of good attention to 
AMC. But overall, that's really all you guys do need to know when it comes down to it. The return shares, the borrowed shares, I don't even like to pay attention to that because that is simply from the free flow on loan. It's not telling you if shorts actually covered. You're going to see that through the price action. If AMC goes up, obviously shorts are covering. If AMC goes down, obviously we're seeing a short attack and more shorting going into the stock as long as apes are holding on to their position. We are the controllable variable in this equation. If apes hold on to a majority of our shares, obviously not all apes are going to hold on to their shares. But if a majority of apes do hold on to their shares, that's really the only way we're going to know if shorts have covered or if shorts continue to short the stock is the price action, whether we go up or we go down. So let's move on to that from the stock O tracker data. Give you guys a quick update. We're seeing a lot of calls, like I already said, going into the money, guys. Uh, we've seen about uh, 45, 50,000 calls go into the money just from Friday and today. So definitely looking very bullish, guys. That's a lot of hedging. Right now, I mean, almost 80,000 uh, in, in the money calls. That's about 8 million shares that would have to be bought by the market makers out the money calls. Uh, obviously went down a little bit because some went in the money but relatively speaking we are still going up in the number of contracts for august 20th now out the money calls at 274,880. we're seeing out of the money puts obviously went down a little bit to 48 or in the money puts to 48,504. obviously went down a little bit out the money puts still at 248,900. So you do have the potential to go either way. See a lot of buying and hedging to the upside as far as a gamma squeeze, but a reverse gamma squeeze as well. If AMC does have a really down day, you're going to see a lot of puts also go into the money. But keep in mind, most of these puts like we have covered in other videos are really in between about $25 and the $20 strike. So you're going to have to see a huge move to the downside to really see a lot of these puts go into the money. There's a lot more calls that are closer to in the money which did run into the money today at the 34 and 35 dollar strike about 40,000 I uh, put or calls actually went into the money at the 30 34 and the 35 dollar strike today alone but like I said most of the puts are way down the chain and I just don't think that is going to be the case now the fintel data guys this is very interesting the, the institutional shares since we are getting more of these filings the, the ownership is at 32% of AMC shares. Institutional shares at 160,500, 160,561,424 shares. So definitely looking very bullish overall. From just about a week ago, we were only being reflected about a 27.5% ownership by institutions. Now at 32%, obviously, situation looking very bullish. But there is no Citadel on this whole entire list. We're getting a lot of these filings coming in actually right now. These are all from today. And today is the last day of the 45-day grace period where essentially all of these firms will have to let out these filings. If they don't, they can get a fine, but it's really a slap on the wrist. And it really makes you question what is in their portfolios, especially when it comes down to AMC and Citadel specifically. What are they hiding? What have they done with their positions? Because as we do know, if we scroll all the way down, uh, let's go to Citadel's last filing. And that was May uh, May 21st. So this was a long time ago. This was three months ago. And uh, we could see that they did have 724,599 shares at $6.17. They did have calls at obviously $6.16, but control 4,110,000 shares. And then they did have a very large put position at $6.16 as well, but controls 5.7 million shares. So definitely wean, way towards the bearish side, especially if they have continued to add to their bearish position, then I do think, guys, you're going to see a lot of attention come to this filing, especially around Citadel. And ultimately, when we do see a lot of firms that are publicly announcing or something like Citadel that gets a lot of attention, saying that they are shorting the stock or just gets a lot of attention that they are shorting the stock, we tend to see an adverse price reaction. So when a lot of shorts are doing all this stuff, we pick up on it and it tends to make AMC go up in price. And that may be a reason why Citadel is really delaying uh, actually letting out this filing into the public markets. Maybe they went long on AMC. I don't think that is the case since they do have shares at about $6 per share. So odds are they have been shorting this stock and they don't want that information to come out whatsoever. But the overall grand scope here, guys, as you can see from the institutional percentage going up so much after these 13 F filings are coming out, 
and just all the green here, guys. Yes, you are seeing some red, but you're seeing a lot of green, a lot of white as well. Just firms overall holding and buying new positions of AMC. So overall trend here, very, very bullish. You're going to want to see, obviously, bullishness from hedge funds and institutions, but you're also going to want to see the short interest owners going up as well. And we see that right here. Take a look at all of this green, all of these put positions that have been put on AMC stock. Only a handful, one, two, three, four firms have actually sold out of their short positions. Well, a majority of these uh, positions are brand new positions and even staying the same, meaning they're not buying anymore. They're not selling out. They're just keeping them the same. Take a look at this green chunk right here, guys. That's a lot of shorting activity. So you're seeing a lot of hedge funds going against other hedge funds. Once we do start to see more long hedge funds going in, once we do see the price action go up and the algorithmic trading program start to kick in, that's where you're going to see a lot of buying power going into AMC, ultimately crushing some of these shorts with small smaller liquidity pools or aka smaller portfolios so that is basically all we do have for this video that is all you guys need to know hopefully by the end of the day we will know what uh citadel's position in amc will be we'll be bringing that to you guys in a video but right now it looks like citadel is holding out on putting this information out to the public so drop that like on the video comment down below subscribe to the channel turn on that notification bell all of that good stuff check out the links down below in the description there is a link for public get up to 70 dollars in your choice free stock in about three minutes time with no need to link a bank out or deposit a single dollar it is by definition free money they also do not use payment for order flow so you help the amc movement more than you realize you send your order straight to the lit exchanges they don't get backlog on order books or nothing crazy like that so i do personally use them check that out if you guys want to also i do have a link for the buy and sell alerts support the channel get access to the alerts when we buy and sell stock options and crypto whether it's a day trade swing trade or longer term investment all in real time check those links out but that is all for this video i will see you guys in the next one